Tonight, I would like to ask you a few questions about being an American, being a Muslim. What it means to be a Muslim in a country that a lot of people think is non-Muslim. Mm. Now, I myself, I've been to the U.S. And to those people who say that the U.S. is somehow anti-Islamic, I always say to them, not quite. Mm. You're not right there. But then, you are an American. Tell me. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi Firstly, thank you for having me show on again. Um, America is a, a very uh, interesting country uh, for many reasons. Let's even begin with its history of inception. What was America? It was a place of refuge Absolutely. for religious, for religious Europeans who felt they were being persecuted by the church. Mm -hmm. So Americans actually, for, uh, the pioneers, if you like, you know, the the pilgrims that came. The pilgrims that came were actually persecuted Christians. Mm -hmm. And that developed an ethos of America that's very different than mainland Europe. Europe went a far more secularization route. Americans, by and large, still are, generally speaking, religious people. Yes. Levels of religiosity are much higher in America than they are anywhere in Europe. In some cases, triple some European countries in terms of belief in God and belief in the afterlife and whatnot. So Americans are much more shaped by Christian values and, 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 and religious values than European counterparts. That having been said, of course, in the last 15 years, because of you know the repercussions of 9-11 and what they see on the news and whatnot, it is true that there is a rising tide of Islamophobia. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, one does not stereotype an entire nation or group because of the actions of a few. And those who live in America and those who are, you know, with the people can, are better situated, situated and informed. And I can tell you as somebody who's been born and raised and living in America that the average American is a very open-minded, very tolerant person. Yes, you see some bigots, the guy who wants to burn the Quran, the guy who wants to do this and that. Realize the reason why they're on the news is because they're the exceptions. Absolutely. If they were mainstream, they wouldn't be on the news, right? And their fellow Americans, many of them as well, are opposed to these types of actions. Now, having said that, yes, they do exist. And they have their followers and sympathizers. But like with every society, you have the good and you have the bad. Also, I want to make sure that everybody understands to not conflate or confuse certain issues of American foreign policy with the people of America. American foreign policy is governmental. And the people of America, by and large, are not connected with their own government's foreign policy. Mm -hmm. If I were to ask you as a Maldivian about your government's policies, what is this fishing industry there, what is this there, you probably wouldn't know much. Absolutely. You're just living your life and whatnot. People need to understand America being the superpower that it is, right? It has certain agendas and policies that many educated people, I'm amongst them, disagree with and say they're unethical and immoral. Guantanamo, invasions, this and that. We are all against this. But this doesn't mean the people of America are all supporting these things. Many of them are oblivious. Now that's not good, they're oblivious. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, it's not fair to blame them. Absolutely. And to say that they... So my point is the average American, generally speaking, is very nice, friendly. I mean, you can, you've been to Europe, you've been to America. You walk on the streets of Europe, usually people won't stop you and say hi and whatnot. Most streets of America, oh, yes. people actually greet you, Absolutely. smile at you. Absolutely. Howdy, how are you doing? Nice to see you. Absolutely. This type of friendliness, you just sense it there. I'm, Absolutely. I'm not saying all of America is like that, but compared in contrast mm -hmm. to Europe, yes. I would say America is more religiously tolerant, more respectful of religion, yes. more respectful of ethnic and, and uh, racial diversity Definitely. Right, than many of its European counterparts. And frankly, as a Muslim living in America, I have to say, I believe that Islam is flourishing in America in a way that really no other Western country can claim. The Muslims of America are proud to be Muslims and they're integrated in society and there's no public and overt discrimination that they face mm -hmm. when it comes to practicing their Islam. Islam in America is genuine. You go to the mosque, you go to Islamic conventions, you feel the pride. It's not cultural. Hmm. Because you don't have to be a Muslim in America. Even if you're born to a Muslim family, you can choose not to. So those who choose to practice Islam, you sense from them the beauty of Islam. 
Isn't that beautiful? To walk into a masjid, to walk into and you see by and large the beauty of Islam. So in some ways, the Muslims that are involved in Islamic stuff in America actually appreciate Islam much more than the Muslims living in Muslim majority lands, who are Muslim primarily because of cultural reasons. Go to Jummah simply because everybody else is going for Jummah Friday prayer. There's nothing else to do, might as well go for Jummah. In America, you need to tell your boss, I need to take extended lunch break. You want to go for Friday prayer. So imagine the crowd that comes there, that have to take off, they're sacrificing their time, their lunch break, maybe even some money and, and paycheck, but they want to be in the masjid. So now imagine being involved with that group of people. This is true niyat. This is true niyat. Isn't and that? That's why being a Muslim in America is wonderful. Alhamdulillah. You feel the beauty of Islam. And you feel you're representing your faith in front of other people. Don't you feel blessed? I honestly do feel blessed to be a, a Muslim living in America. taking it. And America is a very free country. It really is free. The government cannot legislate against Islam. It's in the constitution that you cannot discriminate based on religion. And therefore, alhamdulillah, it's impossible to imagine a day where they can ban hijabs or jilbabs like they're being banned in, in some European countries. They cannot ban mosques. In multiple cases, people try to ban mosques being built. There, there are people that are racist. And every time, the higher courts refuse and uphold. In multiple states, some of the bigots try to ban Islamic law, Sharia. Not a single state was able to ban uh, Islamic law on the personal level because they cannot ban it. It's my prerogative I want to practice Islamic law in my life, right? Nobody can tell me unless it's illegal, which is not. Nobody can tell me. So Alhamdulillah, I can tell you firsthand, Islam in America is alive, it's flourishing. And anybody who wants to be a Muslim in that land will appreciate its freedom and its diversity. The founding fathers got it right. The founding fathers in this sense got it right. Of course, there's a flip side. Mm -hmm. If you don't want to be a Muslim, there's plenty of vices, sins, iniquities. But then let me ask you, isn't that the case here and there and everywhere? Everywhere. Everywhere. What world is safe from that? Yes, now. Exactly. Drugs, alcohol, prostitution, everything. It's all there. Everywhere you go. So then, it's not as if America is, is any different or worse or what not. It, this is the realities of the modern world. Every evil and every vice is available everywhere. Globalization.